the pain like I'm Nagato. Got no father like I'm Naruto. Keep the blade on me, Ichigo. Who really wanna go toe for toe? DTR from Tokyo. Diamonds whipping up on the stove. Lucky man like a four leaf glow. Diamonds wanna go. Hello, guys. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Nagato. And for today's tutorial, I'm basically going to be showing you guys on how to take your PlayStation 2 disc based games and dump them as ISOs on your modded PlayStation 3. So you either you can use programs like Multiman or, you know, programs like Webman Mod and dump and play your, you know, PlayStation 2 games off of ISO instead of the original disc. Uh, you may be asking why, you know, this is useful or whatever. You know, PlayStation 3s are old now. It's 2019. Most of these consoles, you know, are well over five to six, seven, even 10 10 years old so you don't want to put you know a lot of wear and tear on you know your hard drives you know ps3s have you know a lot of issues of basically overheating so you know running isos and you know downloaded versions of the game you know it generates less heat when you use you know your blu-ray driving your ps3s especially if you have the fat systems or if even if you have like test kits and dev kits and stuff like that but with that being said, um, I'm gonna state the prerequisites. What you need, you need a modded PlayStation 3, of course, your PS2 disc, and also you'll need Multiman itself. And from there, you'll also need a USB flash drive that is formatted to FAT32. Once you have all these out the way, what you want to do now is go ahead and put your USB drive in that is formatted to FAT32, which I have right here. And what you want to do now from here is to make sure if it's on FAT32, go ahead and right click over it, go all the way down to format. And you should see that in the second option called file system, it should state that your thing is on FAT32. If it's not on FAT32, make sure uh, just to toggle over to FAT32. Um, you can leave the default allocation unit size or whatever it states for you guys. And then also right here, make sure this button, uh, quick format, it's uh, clicked onto it right here and then you want to press start the next thing you want to do is be sure if you guys have any important files or folders on your flash drive itself make sure to back it up due to when you click this ok button it will erase all your data on it so if you do care about your files make sure to just you know put it back on another usb drive or put it back onto you know your desktop so for example just hit ok and then you'll be formatted to fat32 assuming that your guys are you know on fat32 now since I taught you how to do it, all you would have to do is go to Multiman, uh, copy it over. It shouldn't take too long. Uh, this is the latest version, by the way. Anything I use in any of my videos you watch me from, all the links in the description and like the prerequisites and anything I state will be in there and also the credits. Uh, but with that being stated, uh, since we're done on the PC, I'll meet y'all guys right back on the PlayStation 3. And then assuming y'all guys are on the rebug firmware or, or any custom firmware that's on 4.80, um, we're going to go straight to the PS3, guys. So I'll meet y'all back there. All right, guys. So once you back on your PlayStation 3, as stated, make sure you plug in your USB drive that is formatted to FAT32 with the multi-man package file that we just put over to our PC. The next step, what you want to do as well is put in your PlayStation 2 game that you, you know, want to dump. And then from there, what you want to do is go ahead into your main menu on your PlayStation 3, scroll all the way down to package manager. And then you want to go to the second option where you want to install package files. And then the third option here where you basically have the PKGs on the root. So for this example, go ahead and install your multi-man package file. I'm not going to do it since I already have it already installed. So I don't want to waste any more time in the video. But once your uh, multi-man package has successfully installed back onto your XMB, go ahead and run it like any normal homebrew. Uh, if it's your first time running multi-man it may ask you you know basically uh, some like terms of service and you know some guides and you know prerequisites on how to run multi-man and stuff um but once that's done it should pop you back into the gui and basically like the little menu here uh if you go to the game section right here guys you should see your game in this case i'm dumping kingdom hearts what you want to do now is press triangle all the way down to uh create iso and then from there, you can select where you want your ISO uh, basically dump that. In this case, I'm going to dump it back on my uh, HDD instead of my USB. Because with PlayStation uh, 2 games, you can't run them off. Uh, you know, as of right now, even in 2019, uh, you can't run them off a USB dump drive. But as you see here, guys, you see um, basically in the background that it's creating the ISO disk from the sectors itself and it's basically burning my uh, the ISO image or the disk to my PlayStation 3 hard drive um, depending on the file size of your game like if it's a big game like Final Fantasy 10 anything big like Midnight Club, Need for Speed Most Wanted 
uh, usually those games range for like two to three four gigabytes even so it may take a little uh, while so you just let your PlayStation 3 sit here let us do its thing it does have a progress bar so once it goes back from 99 I'll meet you or when it's close to about being done I'll meet you guys back here and I'm gonna show you that um you could take your disc out and then also you know play your back out uh, backups excuse me without the official PlayStation disc so once this process is done I'll meet you guys right back here Alright guys, so once the process is finished, you should get something that says ISO image has saved, wherever it's saved to, also in the PlayStation 2 ISO format, and also like the game title name, and also tell you how long it took and stuff like that. But once that's fully done, go ahead and click OK, hit enter again, and then what you want to do now is either A, it will back you out, or B, it will probably just boot you right back to the um, game itself. So as you see here right now I'm gonna take my disc out so you can clearly see on the screen so this is my original Kingdom Hearts 2 disc via from the PlayStation 2 but now if I use webman games or if you go even to multi-man you can see that um, my thing has loaded so I may have to reload multi-man up or you could um, go to multi-man so in this case if it doesn't show up the first time it's just that or webman has to refresh your games but um, if you better go back into multi-man it should pop up like normally let me go here if you go to refresh games right here go to the game right here let me see which one is which cuz there's two Kingdom Hearts Let's go to file manager. All right, so yeah, this should be the Kingdom Hearts game right here. If I go delete the Q file from it right here in itself, you may have to do this. But if you go back to like R1 and then try to reload your game now, it should just only say Kingdom Hearts once or whatever game. Cause some when you dump a, a ISO file from the PlayStation 2, for example, uh, the game will actually uh, create a Q file in itself along with the ISO so as you see here this is a PlayStation 2 formatted game I'm gonna show you guys that it's running in real time so go ahead and just click X on whatever game to see if it boots up and as you see here guys this is on my PlayStation 3 as you can tell here, if you want to, you know, anything with terms of PlayStation 2 games, if you hold down your PlayStation 3 button, what you could do is, is, you know, going through some options right here to make it full screen. Also add smoothing on as well. And as you're seeing, I am playing Kingdom Hearts on my PlayStation uh, 3 in real time. And with that being said, that's how you basically can dump PlayStation 2 games via from the CD and also backing it up to your PlayStation 3 as an ISO file. So if you guys have any questions or you want to leave you know, a like or comment or you want to subscribe to the channel, please feel free. With that being said, my name is Nagato and I'm signing out. Thank you guys for watching.